Hello, I hope you're all good. Welcome to Flow FM TV. My name is David Oku, and this is Sports Tracks. European football returned again, and we saw the round of 16 first leg ties played out yesterday. Atletico Madrid hosted the European champions Liverpool at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium at the ground where Jurgen Klopp triumphed last season. Two goals to nil against Tottenham Hotspur. But this time around, it was the home team who were in front before the dust could settle. Saul Niguez opened the scoring for Los Cochoneros in a game that the home side were very dogged and resolute in defence. Liverpool dominated territory, dominated possession, but couldn't have a shot on target. Now, if Jurgen Klopp is telling Atletico Madrid fans after the game that Anfield will be as hostile and intimidating as the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. We are looking forward to the return leg in three weeks' time to see who will carry the night. Remember, a 2-1 victory for Liverpool will see them get knocked out on away goals. So all they need to do is win by two clear goals to move into the last eight. The other game on the night was in Germany at the Westerfalen Stadion between Borussia Dortmund and PSG. Prior to the game, Neymar Jr. was past fit for Paris Saint-Germain. He equalized in the second half after the man who has been on fire or the talk of the moment, Erling Haaland, scored, opened the scoring for Borussia Dortmund with a poacher's finish. There was an equalizer, and after Dortmund had squandered lots of chances in the first half to score, it looks as if the floodgates of their goals were opened in the second period. Haaland again, what a wonder strike, a pitch of a goal for the second, and so it ended. Two goals to one in favor of Daishwaj Gilben, who would return to Paris in three weeks' time with the advantage. So that's it from the games played out uh, yesterday. Looking forward to today in London, it will be Tottenham Hotspur who will host RB Leipzig. Issues for coach Jose Mourinho with respect to injuries. Huming Song has been ruled out. Some say it's to the end of the season with a fractured arm sustained in the win against Aston Villa at the weekend. And of course, Harry Kane has been out since the new year. So difficult times for Mourinho at Tottenham Hotspur who would now need to deploy more players in an advanced position to try and get a result. So they take on Red Bull Leipzig at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium tonight. Coming down to the local scene, it's all about the Abia State School Sports Festival 2020, the Vision 2020. Well, a date has been set for the unveiling of the logo, mascot and jingle for the competition by none other than the Executive Governor of Abia State, His Excellency Okezie Victor Ikwazu, PhD. And all roads lead to Osusu Omukwa Primary School in Obingwa for that one. Save the date, the 28th day of February 2020. Still staying with the local scenes, a five-man committee and panel has been set aside to investigate the fracas that ensued it at the stadium in the Abia Derby between Abia Warriors and Ayimba International in Umuahia. The game was halted at the, in the 24th minute when both fans clashed and uh, we saw uh, a lot lots of injuries sustained by fans which also uh, led to injuries sustained by the chairman of Ayimba International Football Club Chief Felix Anyasi Agu who tried to play a troubleshooter role. Well, the game was moved by the league management company and ordered to be played behind closed doors in Okigwe and Ayimba eventually ran out 4-1 victors. That's it on our Sports Tracks episode today. Okay, remember to follow us on our various social media platforms. On Twitter, we are at Flow949FM. On Instagram, at Flow949FM. Facebook.com forward slash Flow949FM is your favorite destination. And of course, Flow FM TV. Subscribe to our online TV, Flow FM TV, and ensure to hit the notification button to continue to get notifications and watch or catch a glimpse of our wonderful videos. Have a nice time.